Hey everyone, it's Sid, aka Brickplate, with set number 70922, The Impressive Joker's Manor. And uh, let me tell you that um, this is actually one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. Um, it's one of those sets that I had to get the day it was released, so I did, um, foregoing the much more expensive Taj Mahal, which I also want, uh, but could not resist. Um, when I first saw this come out, uh, when I well, when I first saw the video for it come out two months ago, I knew it was like one of those sets I had to have, if only for the roller coaster. More on that in a second. Um, but this set comes with ten minifigures. I have a few of them sitting here uh, just to make sure they don't fall over. Let me get a light on them. Um, we got uh, Batman, of course, Alfred in the classic Batman or TV series, uh, Batman costume, Harley Quinn, the Joker, um, Barbara Gordon, uh, Disco uh, Batman, Disco Robin, Nightwing, Disco Joker, and Disco Bat, uh, Batgirl. But um, let's take a look at this set real quick. Um, it's not a modular style, but it is packed with um, a lot of features. Let's start with this weird thing up here. Um, it's uh, supposed to be, I guess, the Lego Batman version of Sauron. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, lots of the Nexo Knights shields, about eight, eight of them in purple. Uh, the big Joker sign is brick built. Um, that was kind of obvious. Something a little brickheadish here, um, uh, but nicely designed sign. Um, the grand entrance to the building, or to the mansion right here. This is the uh, Ninjago uh, neon green, what I'll call it. Proper neon green, uh, yellow elements, um, some uh, magenta, some pink. The little uh, brick built bombs here are a nice touch. Uh, with the fuses uh, consisting of a darker brown uh, plant sprue, um, a few of these one by one uh, trans orange elements, and the hot dog as the stem. Classic. Uh, nicely designed front stairs. Um, you can see straight through to the back. Um, actually, if all of this is not here, you'll actually see a pretty nice. Um, uh, construct underneath of what I believe is the Wayne Manor. Um, eventually gets taken over by the Joker. Um, one thing I did want to point out, which is um, new to this set, are some of these colored um, window panes that fit into the 2x2 two two, uh, windows. Um, they come in light blue, dark green, pink, uh, yellow, and clear. But uh, something probably a feature of the building you don't notice until you put it together um, nice architectural detail this gets a little hidden back here um, these are boxing gloves operated by a technic mechanism cute um, the towers are otherwise um, classically designed the rest of the manor I should say is classically designed um, the track that goes around, these are all new elements. It is nice solid ABS. Um, uh, people might think that it's similar to some of the train track that LEGO has come out with in the past, but it's entirely new, built just for the roller coaster function. And I, I can imagine that someone is buying like 10 copies of this thing so they can get a whole like six phase type roller coaster going. Let's take a look at the Joker's Manor from the back. Like I said, um, a lot is going on here. Um, we can start with the bats in the belfry. Um, let's stick to this side of the house. Um, the attic space. Um, that is a bathroom and an overflowing bathtub. Cute little gag. Um, here's Batman's recording studio. There he is right there. 
Um, and then the kitchen. A little bare. I'm actually surprised there's a knife element down there that um, uh, has somehow survived all the spins that this um, manor set has taken um, while I was building it. I'm going to move this roller coaster out of the way. Of course, um, Lego Batman wouldn't be Lego Batman without his lobster Thermidor. I didn't think that we were going to see the microwave from the Lego Batman movie in a set, but there it is. Um, here's the Hall of Mirrors on the first level of the middle part of the Joker's Manor. Um, it's a fun house. Um, well, there is a little trapdoor element up here that empties out into the, into the Joker's mouth. That's a little weird. Um, but here's what the Joker face looks like back here. Um, this is the wheel that you turn and it operates those boxing gloves right there. Um, moving over to the other side of the house, we have the first level with Batman's ginormous uh, fireplace. Um, Beethoven and a baby grand piano. I think this is the first time we've seen this design. It's actually very cute. Um, it's about uh, a 5x5 five five construction, but as you can see, the 1x2 grill plates stand in very nicely as piano keys. Here's um, Batman's um, little movie theater, or Bruce Wayne's movie theater, where he's watching Forever Sorting Part 2, sequel to the Forever Sorting movie first referenced in the Palace Cinema modular set from a long time ago, which is retiring soon. Um, here are a couple of uh, family photos that um, the Joker has uh, replaced um, uh, with pictures of himself rather than the Wayne family. And uh, again, here's the back of the Eye of Joker. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But let me show you the roller coaster. So someone's already automated this um, where um, it can go up and turn the set around for a second bear with me it is rather solid so you can do this and actually lift up the whole thing but um if you look at this incline right here as you can see there's ample room uh for you to put um a mechanism by which to drive uh this thing up the rail And, not something like that. Um, and have the thing go all the way around um, under its own power. Um, the way I've seen it powered is by using Technic links um, because if you take a look at the underside of these um, roller coaster cars, you can see what is it? I'll just take it off the track entirely right here. Right here, this middle part here, where you that little um, uh, projection piece can catch onto a standard Technic link, and so the idea is just to get it to catch right here. Um, you might need to move some of these struts out of the way. These are also very nicely designed, by the way, um, in order to have it catch and bring it up the incline and back. Oops. So that's the Joker's Manor again, set number 70922. It's a very well designed set. It is pretty massive, coming in at more than 3,400 pieces, retailing for 269 bucks. And I hope you guys uh, get it and enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, at least the build was amazing. So until next time, it's Sid, a.k.a. Brickplate. See you later.